Hi everybody, I'm Seamus. I'm Josh. I'm Ritzgarn. I'm Mumbles. And I'm Chris, and we are playing Soma. Uh, I'm excited. Soma is the new scary game from those scary game guys that make those scary games that make Camster not happy. Only Although, sometimes. Yeah, this one I didn't think was that scary, but I really and, enjoyed it anyway. In fact, my enjoyment of the game season. went up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my enjoyment of this game went up when I stopped trying to be scared or expecting to be scared and just started uh, enjoying the story. So let's do this. Oh no, we're going to override our latest save. What could happen? So, Soma, we as we all know, is the name of an alcoholic beverage used in the uh, the Vedas for uh, like basically immortality and connecting with the divine and that kind of shit. Are you okay, Simon? Um, which so is really cool. Oh, that, also, nothing. probably He's not what the title of this thinking. game comes yeah. from. Here, take this. Soma is also uh, a drug in the. By the way, soju, soju is awesome. But anyway, it's also a drug used in the novel Brave New World to keep people pacified and content. Please don't make this weird. I think it's also the name of a museum of arts. I mean, it, the the real <laughs> reference from this title is probably the the Soma being the wall around a neuron. So, this game has something to do with brains. There's a Soma near where I live, and it's a lingerie store. Uh, <laughs> I think it's probably named for that. Oh, oh by the way, guys, uh, I'd like to apologize for the horrible, awful alarm noise that will be happening in about 30 seconds ago. It's, it's already happened. Thanks, Ritzkarn. Yep. No, I cannot stand uh -oh. alarm noises in games. This would have been so like a rage a quit right here. Okay, great. So this is we wake Good up in Simon's okay. in Simon's apartment. We just this is how we meet Simon. Is we sort of inhabit his his apartment just for one. It's barely a puzzle. We just have to find a thing in the apartment, and then we can move on with the story, right? But this is like they do environmental storytelling to like tell us who he is. We can look at the stuff that he's got around his apartment and kind of get to know this guy. Uh, I like Josh, it. did you check the toilet? I think it might be in the toilet. What? You should find out by oh, throwing uh, all, of your, yeah. all of your the toiletries medicine. in there. Yeah, the medicine you're supposed to find, I'm sure you probably keep it in the toilet. Um, all right, we got to mix up the medicine here. Uh... This is a really expensive way to accomplish this. Like, th there's a lot of detail in this. Am, am I seeing the stream right? Are you throwing everything from the no, medicine just keep cabinet? Talking. Not the toothbrush. Oh, you're. That's okay. You put the toothbrush in the <laughs> toilet. The that real Simon so actually did this before he went to the hospital. <laughs> How did he oh, watch you're just your gonna toothbrush? Spoil the whole fucking Jeez. game, there, Chris. Simon is like, I can't stand people that don't wash their toothbrush. It just grosses me out. I, I meant real Simon in the sense All that right. this is a this is a documentary shot in real time. Yeah. Oh. Um, All right. Can yes. We... The chair. Put it in the toilet. Oh, Does the toilet there flush? I think the toilet actually flushes. The throne flushes. on the throne. Summer's coming. Oh, this is Does art. It? Uh, so. But as James is saying, yes, this is very expensive because without spoiling anything, oh. which is to say spoiling the entire conceit of this video game, uh, there, this is the only time we see this level of technology yeah. in the video game. Yeah, the game is about to switch gears really, really hard in, um, in the next half hour or so. Um, but uh, and so none of these objects will get reused, right? We're not going to be in play. We're going to be in the future, so there's not going to be books. You're not going to see takeout containers. You're not going to see a, you know, a 2005 microwave. You're not going to see a wooden door. Uh, so delivery no pizza. You're not going to see any pizza. So none of these assets uh, could be reused. Where when we get to the rest of the game, anymore. it's like, oh yeah, here's a here's a future nah. computer. But you see this everywhere. So it gets reused, but um, every single item in this room is just for this room. 
I was just thing? thinking about how uh, the first Half Life game it starts off really mundane. Uh. You're just going to work and like who cares? But they reuse they reuse all of those areas like significantly. Yeah. And yeah, I think, they like, do. that's a really good point. Is like you could just have someone. I, I guess in this game you can't really do it though. Like you, you wouldn't be able to introduce someone to a character, um, in this type of game if because it's it just takes you to a completely new world. So I don't know. Right. Right. Yeah, so they had. I they just pretty much. Oh, wait. Had, part of me actually, the indie game developer in me, sort of hopes that this is Unity, right? It sort of hopes that there's just like a bunch of I Unity think it's assets a lying engine. around. Oh, really? The, well, then I guess probably oh, yeah. not. Yeah, that's Which also just probably explains so much... all the weirdness I've been having trying to record this game. There. Like, it, it's just so much work. And, like, they didn't even need to put... Oh, there's a... Drink it. Does that icon drink. show up ever again in the game? Yeah, Soma <laughs> that uses the HPL engine. This Holy icon. shit. It is a proprietary engine of frictional games. Yeah, I mean, Amnesia was the same way, wasn't it? Or was Amnesia, like, unreal? Feels like milk, but yeah, I have to hope... Again, I, I really hope that this was, like, a test area they built, just, like, to train people in their proprietary HPL engine, and then, like, they could just reuse it, because the thought of uh, developing this much... Uh, throwing this much <sighs> development money at this area, you know, even though it looks great, price. even though it works great, is actually just, like, physically painful... It's like I know, hearing I, about your I friend getting a four hundred dollar car payment bill. Is it worth it? Do you guys think that it would be worth it though? Do you well, think since you I didn't pay for him? it, so since okay. I didn't pay let's for it, yeah. you, let's pretend you did, Shamu. Let's pretend I would, that you did. I would, no, no, I would never. I would be terrified to spend this lavishly on third. Not because it's bad, but just because I mean, Simon looks this like is a lot expensive. Like Wilson from House. Simon looks a I lot like Simon. a video game developer. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's not PewDiePie. Oh, but his feet look much different. I don't know. All right, let's, let's go to the. We're we're, we're yeah. Canadian, by the way. Yeah. We're in Ontario. Yeah, the, the lovely thing Ontario, to point out Canada. Is that the only thing we had to do here was drink that medicine. Most players are done with that in like two minutes, <laughs> and we just blew eight minutes on it. We, I bet we didn't even yeah. see everything. I spent that that more area time had. in there. Yeah, I spent yeah. a lot of time in that room actually. Like I remember looking through all the different stuff and kind of the fact that he has all takeout food and he doesn't seem to cook anything for himself is really interesting to me. And so yeah, it's kind of cool. Here's Pretty another. Much. This doesn't get used again. Now, this is important. I like that we don't just teleport to the doctor's office. But again, this seems pretty lavish. Like, that, none of these models will ever be used again. Every single one of these is Jesse, single I'm use. I want to check if you're coming to the store today. You know, Mumbles, you mentioned, like, Gordon Freeman earlier. Part of me does really want to see Gordon Freeman's apartment now. Like, we see his locker in Half-Life yeah. 1, but that's, like, not nearly as interesting yeah. as... What the fuck does Gordon Freeman cook on a Friday night when he's kind of tired <laughs> and looking forward to the weekend? I want to see weekend? Freeman's mind uh, apartment. I don't want to see regular Freeman. I want to see from the Let's I mean, Play. Gordon Freeman, Freeman is a floating sure camera like... carrying a gun, so... It's just like an abandoned <laughs> attic full of guns and owl bones. <laughs> And meth. I guess it's been a while. It really has. Like, I'm just picturing like <laughs> if they did one of those extreme home makeovers and they themed his room Half Life themed, where it's like neon orange with neon green highlights <laughs> and everything's like slightly corroded, he slightly actually, rusted like, metal. He actually like hates the lambda symbol, but they just keep putting it everywhere. I like the How idea that you get into the, the fucking apartment. Okay, first you go over to the side window, you throw the cinder block <laughs> on top of the plant. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the apartment, there's the just like stacks. your way into the damn apartment. There's stacks of wooden crates that he can. They left a crowbar, and they're like, "Look, when you get bored, there's no TV, but you can bash up all this wooden shit with the crowbar to keep yourself amused." There's just a there's a head crab That's zombie a in the closet that may or may not be dead. Oh, hey, listen, you know those like Hello? those hanging tentacle Do things. What if he made that into <laughs> a lamp? That's nice. Okay. Now here we have uh, one of the things that I thought was really weird. One of the strengths of Amnesia is you don't really talk to anybody. 
I actually like games where you don't talk to people. And I, I always thought, oh, that that's kind of weird. But I think a big part of it is just because it's such an immersion breaker. Place, like, right? it must be. when somebody walks in and they go through their canned routine, especially in a game like this, it feels we it it, it takes me out of the story. It's okay. I can figure this out. The, I think this might be a, a generational thing. I because I feel like that I've I've played enough games that kind of have stuff like that that it doesn't it's never once occurred to me like, oh I wish you didn't fucking say anything. It happens God, yeah. in a lot of games now. What? I don't know. Before you go to talk to the doctor, uh go into the tech room. I wanna show you something. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that All right, erotic or anything. Is this like that episode of Peep Show? <laughs> that erotic. No. Okay, so when I walked into this building, I I noped so hard. I was like, okay, they haven't even finished the office. No one's here. This place is super creepy. Yeah, you creepy. think it's going to start turning into There's a horror game. Yep. No yep, way I'm exactly sticking around here. But In to real me, life, that was... I I wouldn't have done it. Like, no amount of yeah. being desperate about my brain would be there. like, oh, this seems like a good call. I'm going to try this, this thing. This guy uh, seems no a way. legit brain Two doctor. Five zero one. He's not, actually. So there, there is an experiment at my university where they pay you 100 bucks, and then they jack you full of painkillers and make you look at violent images. Press and hold no. shift while moving to run. All right, go no, I love that door. that popped up there when you think, like, oh, this is the freaky place. Yep. They, they tell you how to run, and you immediately think, oh, it's monster time. But no, the game's just sticking with you. Just sitting here. Turn, turn the lights on, Josh. Is that a jar of pee? Creepy camster. Now look at that bookshelf. Which one? Oh, this one? Can you read the text oh, on yeah. that book? Oh, yeah. Uh, which one is it? The the turquoise one at the right side of the third shelf up. The cover of it, not not the spine, but the cover of it. Oh yeah, text yeah. should be unreadable book. Yep. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. So Apparently, they outsourced yeah. a fair amount of the um Zero uh, content stars. for this early bit. <laughs> Minus five stars. So uh, that was clearly one of the outsourced bits, I think, because it was basically just I've made a book prototype and it was just putting the cover on there saying, don't let this cover be readable. And someone in the level design team uh... left it very, very legible. Um, How did they I, I not just got a kick notice out of that. that sitting on a shelf behind where the player's looking in a dark room that is completely optional? I found it on my first playthrough. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh, hamster, Mr. Exploration. Mr. I'm gonna read all of the books. Ooh. So, the game is not... This Let's Play isn't all going to be Josh patiently throwing objects at other objects. <laughs> uh, we're just trying to take it easy oh, through these early areas so we don't uh, wrong past room. Uh, all of our interesting Half-Life conjectures. Yeah, th this beginning part, there's so much to talk about here, and if we went through it at regular speed, we would already be into the spooky <laughs> shit we'd be in the future and we you know we wouldn't have time to talk to any of this and this is so dense Wait, so Here's maybe yet more content that we will never see again like the like yeah. i i wonder what percentage I, of the it, of the game development oh, budget went mouse. into what what percentage is of this guy right. oh Shame this is, hates this. Weirdly, this is really interesting this, has, this bottle I, has a bottle in it guys what? Can you see this shit? There's no way. There's a little cap there and everything, <gasps> and there's inside. It. There's another label. Oh, <laughs> it's a. I, I think that's just the reflection of the shader. Yeah. It's a play. Like yeah. shader it's not itself is right. just. <laughs> no, it, yeah. it doesn't look right. It, but well, right, spoiler. We uh, most shaders are are really math shortcutty approximations of reflections because real reflections are mad expensive. So yeah, hey, you'll Doc, see I found a like bunch that. of shit in your office that doesn't make any sense. Look at this bottle. Look at this oh, fucking no, wait, book. Shit. Okay, I can see why you're here for the brain scan. Dr. But I'm working on it. This guy has powers. Did you see how he just threw away my syringe and 
pulled me across the room. Josh throwing the syringe on the ground made me almost spit out my coffee. That was the funniest thing. Oh, did you walk the syringe. <laughs> walk into the room and introduce yourself to the doctor by way of throwing one of his syringes on the floor in front of him. <laughs> I, didn't have the, I still I think we should have grabbed a fire hose and run in here. Just run in Is here and take the fire hose. Hold your Shit, thought, Doc. Well, I need to find my syringe. I found a sweet oh, wait, syringe is. a couple of minutes we ago. We got him. All right. It's mine. Have a seat. Wow, Have that's you seen a big it? syringe. It's about this big. Look at the flying size your head of this at high syringe. Speeds, point first. <laughs> oh my god. No cap. Ah. There's no. There's no cap. Feel how sharp the tip is. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> hey Doc, hold that pose. I want to see if I can clip this syringe with your pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So maybe we should talk about what the hell's going on in this video game. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. this is Simon. Last name is irrelevant and unimportant. Jarrett. Um, because that never gets brought up again. I don't think. Uh, Simon. And nuts, he Garrett. was. He was in right. a car accident. Right. All right. Let me just get. And I guess his way. girlfriend died. You are Simon. Which was that dream we saw in the beginning. Right. And, uh, and he, like, suffered some brain damage, and he's, like, hemorrhaging uncontrollably into his brain. And so he's going here to this experimental, uh, procedure that he heard from this guy who he thought was a doctor, but is actually, like, a post-grad computer science stu or a, a, a grad student computer science major guy. Um, and they're doing a brain scan so they can see if they can figure out, uh, what's wrong with them. Or, well, not what's wrong with him, but how to fix him. Yep. No, and no, that's no, what that's just what they're doing. That's I mean, a, yeah, okay, it is. It's what they're doing. That's what they say they're going to do, Camster. Don't ruin it. Well, and they do that. That is well, what, what they're, they're doing. doing. What happened? The idea was, uh, they, they explain a lot of this in the, in the audio logs or whatever, but basically the, the idea is they can uh, take a picture of your brain and then run it through a synthesizer Hello? and find... Activities right. or suggestions to heal you. Okay, yeah, that's so an it's not like it. Yeah. Bit. Did something go wrong? Yeah, it's yeah. not like it just detects what's wrong with your brain. They run it through a synthesizer, like yeah, they're, they're, they're like they run it through like a bunch of. Uh, oh. This isn't. They run it through like a billion. They run it through a bunch of simulations on the brain. Anything the brain can do to heal itself, and then they would I yeah. really recommend beautiful. that, like go jogging or they whatever. Turn, they turn your brain into music. That's really really beautiful. <laughs> Uh, uh, so, I, can I actually say right now, before we get into the, the plot of this game, I just want to say that it's very interesting that they made a horror game where nobody has any malicious intentions. That is a good huh. point. Yeah. Like, uh, there's no serial killer, there's, there's no, yeah. like, mastermind. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. every single character is not is good-intentioned and just has different ideologies. That's a really good point. In fact, and different most understanding of, the characters in this of, of what it means to be helpful. Altruistic. Yeah. Um, so we just had our brain scanned, and so you're, and then you know you close your eyes and you're you're in this, you're in this doctor's office in Vancouver, or wherever, and then you close Ontario. your eyes, you go on to whatever Canada land, Can it Canadian write, land. Shame is God. It's all the same, isn't it? I'm thinking Canada. Yeah, thing. that's it. Um, uh, but, and then you open your eyes, and you're here, and it's like everything's destroyed, and what the crap's going on, and... Damn it. <laughs> and you suddenly throw like a child, and you, and it's like <laughs> everything's really heavy. <laughs> Shut up, Shame. It's is hard for me. <laughs> Oh you, oh, you did it, buddy! Go. Congratulations! Oh. Damn it! Ah, there we go! Yay! Oh, now let's this is all right. Let's have a seat. And see what's in here. This, this mm. is, I think, one of the <laughs> three places the game is actually pretty spooky. Yeah. yeah, this is the closest I came to being scared because I had no idea what to expect. The game. The game spends a lot of time teasing you, and after a oh, while, you just talk. stop. You just stop feeling it. It's like, oh, this, the game is all bark and no bite. And then you run into your first monster, and that's when I realized I wasn't going to be scared. I ran into the first monster, and it just wasn't scary. 
it was a so little nerve-wracking. So not to be too explicit about what's about all the twists in this game or whatever you want to call them, but this broken mirror is way more significant than uh, it looks. Because I came in here the first time, I was like, oh, the mirror's broken because it's a fucking video game, and that's you don't have mirrors in video games. That's right. not the reason. Right. Oh. Plot twist. Oh my. I, I, I will say uh, I actually saw the plot twist of this game pretty much at this point. I I actually... Twist, anyway. something, something I didn't like about this game initially. Well, not initially. Well, something that bugged me about it. I thought it was going to be way weirder and way more out there of a plot than it actually turns out to be. Really? Because like, I struggle with how stupid this plot is. <laughs> that's my oh, wow. feeling point. Oh, wow. wow. Be... That's the first, like, strong negative opinion I've heard about this game besides it's not scary. And it's my all downhill from oh, there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my <laughs> problem is I thought that you were jacked into a simulation Matrix style. And yeah, that, that really that's that, too. I thought this was all going to turn out to be in his head or something. And um, so I wasn't scared because I was like, oh, it's just the Matrix. And, you know, I'm not scared of the Matrix. Um, but if so you like die in the Matrix, you, say, you die in real life. Yeah, but that's <laughs> still, for whatever reason, that gives well, me like you're a just layer a of copy of the brain simulation or something. It's actually good yeah, point. it's yeah, it's like if I die in the if I die in the Matrix in a video game, uh, it's just too many layers of abstraction for me to worry. So that was killing my fear here, is that I was like, none of this is real. It's all going to turn out to be a simulation of some bullshit, and so I wasn't. Yeah, I thought. I thought. Like, like, from the very beginning here, or like, from this point on, I was thinking, oh, okay, so he's in a simulation, and he's going to overcome these, like, monsters and terrible, terrifying shit, and that's going to fix his brain. Um, yeah, and then he'll wake up back in, in, uh, um, whatever, Alberta. The reality of this is that this is all really actually happening. Yeah, oh. Um, so well, it's I a, actually like this game a lot. Josh, it's a video game, actually, dude. Shut Just not the <laughs> Well, actually... <laughs> hey, buddy. I, I like this game a lot, oh. and I, one of the reasons I like it is that its horror is actually pretty on-point existential, to the point where it's kind of uncomfortable. And the ending, you know, we'll, we'll talk about the ending when we get to it, but there's there's kind of like an ending, and then there's a sub-ending. And if you just stop at the ending before the sub-ending, it's probably the most brutal end to a video game I have ever seen in my life. Yeah, that was pretty much a gut punch. It felt... I was okay. I was like, oh, that's really dark. But then it gave you a second ending as, like, let me go home, not miserable. I mean, it's still super dark. It is. It, it is. Let's... let's We'll, we'll save the ending for the ending. I, yeah, yeah. Good I, I want to complain about the, the reality of the world now that we've woken up in the future. And that's... I'll, I'll wait till we get to that point, but... I don't like this world. Why don't you, don't like you this though? world, hamster? I, I don't want to spoil it, but it's just... It's really contrived for this particular situation... To, 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 oh, to you mean you don't this... like this world in a, a cr art criticism sense, not a oh I'm pee pants sense? I right. see. It's it's just very contrived. No, I think we could all agree right now, just and then drop the topic for unless we have something new to say about it. That our pants remain unpeed. There's no pee in these yeah. pants. These are clean. There, there are a few like, like legitimately scary moments, uh, but most of it is not. Yeah, and, I agree with and that. And in fact, the biggest criticism that seems to be universal about this game is that, like, this game would be way better if it wasn't trying to be an amnesia sequel. Yeah. I mean, it's not an this, amnesia this sequel, but, that, like, that same DNA. If anything, this is a game that scares you, like, eight hours after you finished your session when you're laying awake at night. This game yeah. makes you pee yeah. your soul. <laughs> this game oh, is no. more uncomfortable to think about than to inhabit. I actually think, as a marketing thing, they should have come out and said, no, this game isn't scary at all. It's just a walking simulator, like, gone home, and we would have let our guard down, and then yeah. it would have started messing with us. It would have been much better. So you can actually die really fast, like, really early in this game. You want me to can you? show that don't. off? Don't. Yeah. No, don't, don't. Do it. Yep. Because I didn't know. Do it! Hey, buddy! Do How you doing? Wow, Hello. you can actually... Wait, you what? Seal, I thought you could die yeah. here, but he doesn't want to come door. out the damn door. Open it, push a button. Oh. I thought he would... Oh, damn it. 
Okay, I fucked up at dying. Oh, well I'm sorry, done, guys. Josh. You're still oh, alive. Josh. So much I thought he was gonna open the door run. when I took off the damn seal, but apparently not. Fucking build robots with opposable thumbs. You're the worst Soma player I've ever seen in my life. I thought the Omni tool was gonna Ooh. be a lot more of a big deal, but it's just a key. And yeah, occasionally it talks I, I to you later on. I thought this was gonna be like your universal puzzle interface, but it yeah, really yeah, like a tool that really you really use function. everywhere, like some sort of um Omni tool. Universal tool? I don't know what you'd call that. I don't know. I, I do like the way, I mean, we just sort of, having all beaten the game, we just knew to come here and get it. But I do like the first time through the game, the way it teaches you to pick up the Omni tool makes you feel like Simon would be. There's because something over there's, there. There would be no reason for Simon in I the context what? of the game to pick it up, except he needs to turn on the power and everything says need Omni tool, and he stumbles right. upon it the way the player stumbles right. upon it. And I think that was done really I, well. I think that so was you're a, sort of, a fair enough. Oh. Hey, can you help me? I'm, uh, I seem to have been lost. Also, I think this is the future. <laughs> okay. Do you have a watch? Does your watch say Damn the it. future? Am I still in Canada? And if not, is my healthcare still good? <laughs> <laughs>